take a picture for the thumbnail. What's up, guys? L up on set from Creative Sound. Look, we're going to do a comparison between these two mic foam portable vocal booth, right? Whatever you want to call it. The idea of these around your mic is to help eliminate outside noise, unwanted noise, things in the background, things of that nature, um, getting cleaner vocal production using such things like this. This is the reason why you will see these in my video because it's usually connected to my mic here because I do voiceover production as well. Now, for a while, it's been the talk about Chaotica, and of course, the price point has been pretty, I say, essentially pretty high. A lot of you have came to my videos and was like, bruh, I'm not spending that much money on some phone, bruh. I, I heard your comments, I read your comments, and some of you guys found better alternatives, cheap alternatives. Some of you guys did a DIY found some some phone from somewhere and put it around your mic and i don't know how successful you were but you know it's definitely cheaper alternatives than something like this some people find value in using this and some people just think it's just it's crazy now i did a video on this before and i stress to you guys that you're not going to eliminate everything. It's not like you're going to be in a million dollar vocal booth, right? But the whole idea is just for something like this being portable and it works for a lot of people who don't or couldn't afford a full boat. You know how much vocal booths cost? So the price of something like this, I get it, right? But something new came out, which is the Iconic Mars. I kind of Mars, the company sent me this. This is the comment. And I I'm going to I'm I'm gonna test it out. Let's 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 just see. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna pull it down from this mic. I have it connected to my blue my blue mic here. And I wanna say <laughs> that this is pretty identical to the famous chaotica eyeball, which I thought was pretty cool. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, can you see? They look identical to each other. They 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 come pretty close. You know what I mean? They come pretty close, right? Now, let's, let's do a comparison, you know. Let's talk about design. So, I'm going to pull off this thing here. And let's look at the chaotic, chaotic eyeball. Now, if we're looking at the design of this thing right now, as you can see, on the inside let me see if i can focus my camera in just a little bit more all right now um, yeah the lighting is not all that great but you can kind of get the gist of what's going on so if, if you notice in here it's kind of like a straight forward like front to back it's got this you know what i mean got this wall you know what i mean that's how i look and it looked like there's like additional padding back here to to kind of cut it from you know from way you know it's not it's not necessarily a curve it's like a, a wall back there so that's the design of the k Attica eyeball i also noticed the difference in the way that it feels this is like a little bit more firm the texture um i'm i guess i noticed that there's like uh maybe not maybe maybe that looks I was going to say that there's like a additional type of material on the outside i want to say it's probably the the coloring or the dye or whatever this is make it look like it's an additional coat um maybe that could be the dirt from the mic i don't know but um yeah so that's that's the chaotic eyeball and and now let's observe this okay i guess my lighting is not doing any justice but you can kind of see on the inside of this this is kind of doing the same exact thing you know it's got this straight back type vibe you know what I mean? So the inside does not take the form of what you see here. It's kind of like a a circle or or a, a a cylinder type feel. And I'm touching on the back. It doesn't feel like there's an additional padding on the back. So this one to me looks like it. Yeah, it's about the same actually. 
probably the same big i don't have any rulers to measure any of this but um we can definitely see that there's like a a coating on the outside of this on the inside it's a different color and this one just takes on the same design so i don't i don't know if that if that is what's going to tamper with the sound but the the iconic mars does have a softer touch it's softer to touch this one is more like a i don't know like a sandbag type feel you know what i mean it feels a little bit more firmer this one is just like strictly foam with no extra coating so i don't know based on the design this one is more so a circular type feel or you know look to it this one has a a comic a comet not i don't know but this one takes on a more of a stylish approach you know just based on the way it looks you know what i mean so let's put that off to the side right here let's talk about the filters here now you know nothing special about these here based on the way this feels this feels a little more firm that could mean nothing but it could have something to do with the sound i don't know maybe i'm reaching for it but um yeah i mean it's pre they're pretty much the same thing this one's a little bit more softer um but they're designed exactly identical you know what i mean it's got like a double type deal here um you know front and back type thing it's the same in terms of diameters they're both the same exact size size so there's there's nothing too special there right so so to me it's it's kind of like i don't know i would expect the same sound coming through here but who knows so when you guys purchase this it comes like this red and black with it i think the black looks pretty slick i'm leaving the red on on there because it, it does kind of pop a little bit and then there's a purple one on the site so when you guys get the purple one you can take advantage of the cold that i have available for you guys all you have to do is uh type in creative k-r-e-a-t-v-e -E, spell like it is on my shirt and take advantage of the discount that they have on there and but you know i must say that the price point is actually like if you don't use the coupon code this one is a little bit more cheaper than this one and so far we saw the similarities of both of these they kind of like the same thing you know so to speak but it matters the most with how this thing sounds right that's that's the ultimate goal so i like to do a comparison between both of these let's do it all right we're going to shoot for the chaotic eyeball first and i'm gonna switch my mic to this so we can go ahead and get this going testing one two three four we are checking the audio through the chaotica eyeball testing with uh the audio yeah we that's what we're doing right now we're we're trying to see what the sound quality between both of the the chaotica eyeball and the iconic mars iconic mars is a new company that hit the market and they are in competition well i don't know that for a fact but it's clear it's clear that they're in competition with each other because it's cheaper and i don't know so right now we're just gonna switch gears and see what the I iconic mars sound like so as i take the mic off this is what the uh this is what the blue mic sounds like without any filters or anything on here so just to show y'all what that sounds like so it's like it's wide open it's prone to just plosives and yeah you know you, you know you know what i'm saying okay so we got the iconic mars right here plugged in or fitted to the mic and um i'm listening to my voice through my headphones also monitoring and i guess i can kind of give you guys my thoughts i would probably have to i don't know listen back well i'm not recording anything right now we just kind of listen straight through straight through my interface and if i must make my decision as to what i feel like this thing sounds like if there's any 
anything any difference i'm going to say they sound identical they sound identical i i don't know you guys tell me so i'm gonna be very honest let's finish this video out using this thing here i don't think that there's a huge difference between both of these mics i'm gonna be completely honest i think they both they both sound very close to each other Ch check one two p popper stopper boom boom it's doing its job it's doing what it's supposed to do which is record clean clean audio right check one two one two and there you have it guys that was my review you heard it you're hearing it you're hearing it right now from me from ella creative sound guys hey it's kind of awkward talking and on face this way but i want you to remember that music is art you're the artist paint your picture stay creative with our rules and of course if you dig this video visit the description area of this video go to the link click the link make your purchase make sure you include the purple filter in there to take advantage of the coupon discount code that i have available to you guys all right i'm out okay this has been the audio test this has been another audio experience.